Hey guys, this is Darrinson DIY. Today we'll be upgrading our dust collector system to automatically turn on when we open the blast gates. We recently installed a 240 volt outlet in our garage and we also converted our dust collector to use that. We were using a wireless switch for our 110 volt configuration but this wouldn't work for 220 volt. We thought of buying a wireless remote for 220 volt but then thought why not make it automatically turn on when we open the blast case. So that's what we are going to do today. For this project we ordered the long ranger system from Amazon that comes with one switch and one blast kit. But as we will be modifying our existing blast kits, we also ordered some micro switches that would be attaching. The long ranger starter pack comes with the automated switch system, the blast kit. As you see, opening the blast kits actually open the uh, micro switch. In addition, it comes with 100 feet of low voltage wire some wire nuts as well as the spade connectors. So let's see how this smart system works. Here we are connecting the smart switch with the outlet and then the dust collector connects to this switch. There are two low voltage connection points on the switch. As soon as these are connected, the dust collector turns on. And I'm demonstrating it using a wire, but this is what the micro switch will do. The long ranger switch comes with some mounting hardware, which I forgot to show before. Here I'm installing the bracket onto the box, which will be used to hang it on the wall. After identifying the suitable location on the wall, I mark the location of the mounting screws and then using a screwdriver punch the hole. Then I use some drywall anchors and inserted it into those holes. Attaching the mounting hardware resulted in the box not sitting flush on the wall. To make it sit more even, I put some leftover rubber pads that I had from a speaker box. After I attach it, the box sat much better. After I zip tied the power cord to make it proper length, I tested the dust collector using a wire and connecting the low voltage connection points. Here I'm showing you how the dust collector blast kit that came with the system works. As you see, opening the blast kit just turns it on and closing it turns it off. Now let's prepare our micro switches that we would be installing on our own blast kits. Here I'm trimming the wires and attaching those onto the micro switch. I am not an expert on soldering, so this is where you know I had some trouble, but after each attempt I got better. We also put some shrink tube after the solder was done. The way micro switches works are there are three connection points. One of them is common and the other one is normally open or normally closed. They are generally marked with C, normally closed which is NC and normally open which is NO. Here you can see that we attach the wire to the common as well as normally open. That means we don't want the voltage to flow when the switch is open. On the other end of the wire, we installed some spade connectors. Those are crimped type connectors that you can put on the wire. We ordered these from Amazon as well, but we didn't have the proper crimping tools. So we just used some pliers to crimp these. They worked out fine. These connectors makes it easy for us to attach it on the switch. And they also looks nice. Once the micro switch was ready, I tested it again. Here you can see once we press the switch, the dust collector turns on. That means the soldering was done properly. To attach the micro switches on the blast kit, I simply used some star bond super glue. These are awesome and really time saver. I used the super glue and the activator to also attach a small maple piece that would open and shut the 
blast it micro switch as you see the micro switch works just perfectly we repeated the process for all the other blast gates as you see we now have all the blast gates connected with the switch the wires are not neatly uh, routed so we will take care of that later but the blast gate works perfectly they turn on the dust collector and it's very conveniently located next to the tool the previous blast gate was for the miter saw and this one is for the band saw we also had two long runs one going to our workbench that is over arm and the other one to the uh, drill press and the sander together. Here you can see the long run doesn't really affect anything and it works as instantaneously as the other two blast gates. I was a bit skeptical about the convenience of this system over the wireless remote that I used for the last two years. But after just 30 minutes of use, I got so used to it and I don't think I will ever go back to the wireless remote. I hope you like this video and if you have been wanting to do something like this, maybe this video will inspire you to finally take that action. We will have a link to all the products that we used in this project in the description box. If you are first time on our channel, we urge you to subscribe as that helps the channel a lot. I hope you like the video and we'll see you again in the next video. Thank you all and have a great day.